Now I'm going to add additional information to sketches. For instance, here I'm using the arrow tool to draw an arrow. You see that arrows can be modeled by using the handles. I can also uh, type uh, a label for the arrow. Another thing that I can do is to create camera movement. In this case, I want the shot in this paint to start exactly like in the previous shot. So I create uh, a second camera position. I move it and I scale it the way that I prefer. I can also rotate the camera. You see that in this case, I've created a zoom in movement, but if I want a zoom out movement, I can, I can use the reverse animation command. And if I want to check the way the camera is moving, I can open the preview window. The movement will last exactly the duration I set in the panel. As soon as I change something inside the panel, the preview window is automatically updated. Another element that I can add to the panel is the layer animation. So I'm selecting now this rock and I'm going to copy and paste it into a new layer. Now you can see that I can scale the rock without affecting the background, which is a separate element. Now I will use the eraser to erase the, the background part that I don't want to see. When my layer is ready, I can use the um, edit tool to create a starting position. Oh, I can also rotate the layer and I can then select the ending position and define also the layer for the ending position. Now I can open the preview window again so I can check that now not only the camera is moving, but also the, the rock is moving. To have a full control of all these elements and for additional elements, I can move to the timeline view. The timeline view has a big uh, preview area and the timeline itself. I have an area also for the panel, for the camera animation and for the layer animation. I can scroll through the timeline by using the scroll bar or I can use the current frame cursor to move through the animatic. I can also zoom the uh, timeline in and out. And then I can use the controls here for the animatic playback. Of course, I can also control all the elements that are inside the timeline. I will start changing the panel duration. You see that if I uh, click and drag uh, the end of a panel, I can change its duration. In this case, I'm also shifting all subsequent panels. Or if I control click between two contiguous panels, you see that I'm changing only their duration without affecting all the subsequent ones. Another control is for the animation. In this case, I have the camera and layer animation for this specific panel. I can uh, move uh, the starting point and the ending point of the animation so to create some section in which, uh, for instance, in this case, the camera will stand still. I also can use the markers available here to create an is in and is out movement, that is to say an acceleration section and a deceleration section for the movement. And of course, all this editing is available for the layer animation as well. An additional element uh, that I have in the timeline is the possibility to add uh, audio tracks. So this means that now I can add audio clips inside my animatic. So I will import one clip. 
and then I can play it back. Of course, I can move the clip that I loaded, so to put it in sync with some specific panels. And I can also decide to add a second clip to the track. Of course, this clip can be moved as well and placed to a different position. I can also create a second audio track and then I can move the clip to the second audio track and I can also copy and paste it from one track to another. And I can also create some editing. For instance, I can uh, trim the <laughs> audio. In this case, for instance, you can see that there is a section at the beginning of this audio file that I don't like, so I can trim it. And you may also see that when I'm dragging the current frame cursor, the current audio track is being scrapped. And the same is if I change the audio tracks number two, audio tracks number two is being scrapped. Now, I'm going to delete all these audio files and in order to add uh, the, the complete tracks that was already prepared, I'm loading one track for the dialogue and another track for the background music. So now you see that if I play back the animation, I will see both the dialogue and the background music. Maybe the background music is too loud, so I can change the volumes, the volume setting here. Siamo più piccoli di una goccia d'acqua e viaggiamo insieme alla pioggia. Che come sai? Now it's better. I can also turn a track off. Siamo più piccoli di una goccia d'acqua e viaggiamo insieme alla pioggia. Or turn it on again. The last. Uh, element is the possibility to add some transitions. In this case, for instance, I, I'd like to have a, a, a black fade-in at the beginning of this panel. So I'm selecting transition fade-in. You see that I have this uh, uh, strip available that let me set uh, the duration of the fade black fade-in. Here I can add a dissolve. Also in this case, I can uh, decide how long has to be the dissolving transition. So now this is my final composition for the first section of the animatic.